In this tutorial, we are going to see how to draw a line from CSV file in d3.js. This is my CSV file and this is month and sales columns. I only have two columns. And I am using an online IDE c9.io from because I can upload files in this IDE. These are the hello world file which came default and I duplicated from that and created a new HTML document line from CSV. So initially I will be creating a line which is similar to previous tutorial but only thing is you might notice we don't have a variable data because we are doing that from CSV. So this is actually an online IDE which I am writing my code. It is running in Chrome browser. I have truncated the screen cache so you are not able to see the address bar. To use this you can just search in the Google for c9.io. Uh, in my previous tutorial I was using JSBin but in that JSBin I am not able to upload files. So this is a nice IDE where you can upload files and use the files for your web programs or web apps. The code which I am doing, you can see it's very similar to my previous tutorial. So in the X, I need to return the value which is smaller than the SVG with the size. So the value here is very big. Uh, let's separate it from two zero one three four zeros which will return as 100. So we know we have our width only as 500. If we directly give this value a d dot month, it will return 2013 some millions. Uh, it won't fit in our screen. So I am just transforming it to a lower value. That's why I am using subtracting from that value. So other, other rest all things what I am doing here is very similar to my previous tutorial. Except I am writing it inside a function build line CSV because I am going to call that function once I write a, a function to fetch the data from CSV file which you will see in later in this tutorial. It's again and again the same thing which we are doing for past three or four tutorials. This var SVG because it will define the SVG function in our which we can use for drawing the path. So you should not forget to define the library uh, which is the, the sixth line script source. You should do it in all your tutorial. I am using the library directly from online. You can also do it from offline but you have to download it to your local computer and point that script source to your local computer instead of HTTPS. So if you download it uh, or for example if you download it to your C folder or C drive you need to point that in the place of HTTPS d3.js. So here we now will declare the color of the line and width of the line and the fill which is again I did in my past tutorial. Once you learn this, learn this um, block, it will keep repeating for all your tutorial. I mean, for path, it is very obvious that we need a, a data set to form a line. So we are using the line function and the data set variable uh, in my next coding block 
I will return the data from CSV file to that DS variable. So I have defined it before. So this is d3.csv. This is the function which is actually going to fetch data from the CSV file. Here it's very simple. It's straightforward. You will give the file name monthly sales star CSV. You have to you have nothing to worry about how the file is in the CSV. This d3.csv will take care of it. And comma the data. It's enough. But here I am checking the error. Whether uh, is there any error in my CSV file, or whether I am pointing to a correct CSV file. So this this is a just a little check. If error, then it will return to the console as error. Else, it will return the data to our variable ds. So this data can be used by our line function, uh, and that in turn will draw the line in the linear format. So in the same block, I am just going to call that build line csv function when this is getting executed you see this uh, ds equal to data is a local variable for this block and this will be get used by this function and in turn this will pass to uh, rest of the blocks which you have written before to get line or oh, this is uh, output window uh, unfortunately i am not getting my output uh, this output window you will get after you press the preview button in this video there might be some minor errors which we can see in the line 20th we have an error parsing error so it is related to brackets or the semicolons so let's run it again and refresh the browser window I have opened it in a new tab in the chrome yeah we got this so let's to confirm we can change the color to blue I were not able to see because as I said before I have truncated my screencast now I will open the new tab and refresh it it turned blue thank you